Hi everybody, tonal value, which means light and dark. And now light and dark is so important to our paintings. Getting shadow and shading correctly is so important. Light is represented by value. So we've got our values here. We've got a high value, which means we've got a lot of white and a lot of white mid value here, mid tones. And then we've got low value here, which is means the darkest levels. So that's your black and your white. And all pictures can be represented in this way. If you've got an iPad, you can take a photograph of any subject and then you can go to your settings and you can change it into a black and white. That will e automatically show you the tonal values. This is um, a beginning sketch that we're going to work from, which is a simple landscape of sea and clouds. And that's going to be a 20 minute exercise that I'm going to set you. OK, so we're going to now start making the, the value to do our benchmark study. So we need to make values of dark, greyer, dark grey to light. And I'm going to use acrylic paint. I'm using Glasgow paint, which is um, a professional studio paint, white and Glasgow black oxide. And this is titanium white, titanium white being opaque. So the important thing to do now is to remember that we have to mix on a mixing palette. I've got one of these tear off palettes, which is very handy. And you always start by with adding the white. And then you tint it by taking a little touch of black. Never the other way round. And so we're making a beginning value here. You can see how strong the black is. So it tints that really, really amazingly. So we've got that high value. And we can do a little, we can do a little swatch of it which is quite handy to do. And it's important to make it thoroughly mixed. Next value, I'm going to now take a little bit of this and I'm going to add another tint of black to it. I'm mixing my thoroughly with my palette knife. So you can see now that that is slightly now getting towards a darker tone of grey. I'm going to put that up there because I'm going to reserve that for my colours. Now I'm going to take a little bit more white. This is where you need a paper towel. Okay. So now we're going to now start building this picture up in acrylic. Now I do recommend you put a timer on for 20 minutes because I don't want you to spend any longer on this. You're going to use your acrylic brushes for this. So just choose three, uh, a medium one, a small one and a large one. Okay, you might need some more paint, that's fine. So I'm going to start off by building up the light area here, okay? So from the skyline, I'm now working upwards into the sky. I'm going into my first value I made, this first value, diluting it a bit, and I'm going to paint it into it.
Um, I've done a 20 minute quick sketch which then shows you the tonal values so we've got low value mid value and high value all used out of just black and white acrylic paint very important to be able to establish this tonal value so it increases the texture here in the water and then you've got the reflective power here taking the eye to these low level clouds and then you've got the reflection of the heavy cloud in the water.